and welcome back to my channel. I am the Honey Bat, if this is your first time finding me. Today we have some more of the Real Littles from Shopkins to open. This eight pack might look like one that we've opened previously, but it is different because in this one we can see the little Welch's grape juice rather than a little Pringles Shopkin. We also have eight Shopkins hiding over here in our little two pack baskets. So we're gonna take a look at both of them. This costs about $10 in Walmart or Target, while these cost $3.99 a piece. So for the eight Shopkins and eight mini packs, this is $10 and this is 16. The guarantee in this pack is that you get eight different Shopkins, whereas if you buy four random packs, you may end up with duplicates. And the only other difference that I know of so far is that you get the little plastic baskets to play with here in the two packs. With that being said, we're not gonna hesitate any longer. Let's go ahead and start. This is what the front and the back of the baskets look like. So I did not pick up two different ones. They are just designed differently on both sides. We're gonna go ahead and start with this one right here. Since the plastic is off, we're just gonna take off this little cardboard piece that holds the barcode. And we're going to lift up, revealing our Shopkins. Here is a checklist, which we'll take a really quick look at in just a second. Looks like we found some beef ravioli from Chef Boy RD and some fudge stripe cookies. This is the little basket that I was talking about that we get to play with. These do not come in the bigger packs. And the little pieces here for the handles actually move and they seem pretty sturdy. So if you have Barbies or other similar shaped dolls, these would go great in a little grocery store theme. Here is the front of our checklist. We can see the Common Rare, Ultra Rare, Special Edition, and Limited Edition Shopkins. We have breakfast and dinner. I really hope to see this little kid's cuisine tray sometime. And for the cereals, I think I really wanna see the Fruit Loops one. Going down, we have some more drinks, which we know we're going to see the little grape one today, so I'm really excited for that. We also have desserts and limited editions. On the back we have some pantry items and some special edition shoes. There's our sweet snacks starting and our savory snacks or our salty snacks. And there are over 50 to collect in this series. We are gonna start right here with our fudge striped original cookies. One of these sides is supposed to open, there we go. I'm gonna pull this out. I apologize if you can hear any of the motorcycle noises. Here we have a little stack of cookies. So this is a common named Fudgy Stripes. We can see the fudge stripes here on the top two cookies. And going down the stack, we can tell where the little chocolate bottoms of each cookie are as well. And I really like the surprised expression there as the top cookie tries to fall off. The second one that we found in that pack is our little Chef Boyardee beef ravioli can. We're gonna go ahead and pop the top off and take out our blind bag. We're gonna push him up out of there. It looks like he's gonna be a little ravioli. This is Renetta ravioli. I love the little bite taken out of the top of her there. You so love ravioli growing up. She can stand up on her own thanks to the bend in her little pasta noodle there. And unlike some of the other ones, this is not squishy. This has the same texture all the way through. I love the design of their faces this season. I feel like they have all new expressions. I could be wrong, but I don't think I've ever seen this face before. He even has a little teeny tiny nose there. And she's a common from the dinner collection. We are ready for our second basket. So just like the first one, we're going to remove that little cardboard piece and shake out our pieces. And oh my goodness, I think we got the kids cuisine one. It really does look like they just took the products and the product boxes and put them in a little shrink machine. I absolutely love this. Now that we've got it open, we're gonna go ahead and pull out our Shopkin. And this one is supposed to look like a little TV dinner tray. Oh my gosh, it even has the little clear covering that a TV dinner would have. The clear detail is unique to season 12. I don't think they've ever put it in another one of their series. This is Casey Cuisine. She is a rare find this season. We can see that she has some corn up there, the little brownie that comes in the little kid cuisine packs, some mac and cheese, and of course, some chicken nuggets. I love, love, love this Shopkins so much. This has gotta be my favorite right up there with the little cereal bags. 
And before I freak out too much and forget about it, this is our second one. This says Hebrew National Beef Franks. So it's a little pack of hot dogs. We're gonna go ahead and pop open this little plastic container and take this out. This must be another dinner time Shopkin pack. And inside, it looks like we're gonna have a little hot dog. This is a fabulous Frank. He is a common. He's got some mustard right there. And oh my goodness. See if I can't zoom you guys in a little bit more. The bun is hard plastic, but the actual hot dog is squishy. It almost feels like a real hot dog. You can tell here that I can kind of stretch it, but then like the bun is definitely hard. I've said it once and I will say it again. I love the extra texture that they're putting into the Shopkins. I think it adds just a whole new level to them. And these are definitely Honey Bat and Baby Bat approved. We are already on to our third little basket. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing and shake out our little containers. We'll start with this one since it wanted to jump out. This is the little Apple Jacks container and inside we should find a little bag of cereal. So here we go. We can see the little clear bag popping out. This is the other detail that I was talking about with their little cereal bags. And the cereal actually shakes around inside. Since this is Apple Jacks cereal, they are little rings that shake around freely in there. I just really like the sound that they make. I also love the cute little faces on these bags of cereal. They're a little hard to see on camera, but they are very easy to see in person. And it even has where the bag wrinkles as a detail. I hope that that shows up on camera. This Shopkins name is simply Applejack and is a rare find. And just like when we buy it from the store, the box has a bag inside that holds your cereal. So there we go. The second one that we found is pudding that says it's chocolate and vanilla. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this open. Take out, this one has two Shopkins. I think all of the pudding packs do actually. So we're gonna go ahead and cut them both open together. There's our first one. And here is its little buddy. So looking at the checklist, this one is Charlie Chalk, and this one is Lily Vanilla. You can tell them apart because this one has his eyes open and she has her eyes closed. And this little pudding pack is an ultra rare find. So we ended up with a rare and an ultra rare in the same little basket. This is of course our final little mini basket, but don't worry, after this one we're not done. We still have a whole nother eight pack to open. We're gonna start right here. It looks like we finally got a drink. This is Welch's White Grape Juice, and you would think they would open from the top, but the little bottles actually open from the bottom to reveal our blind bag. And this will be the first drink one that I've actually gotten to see in person other than just through the pack. So I'm really excited. And I had every reason to be, this looks like a little glass of lemonade, although it's supposed to be white grape juice. So you guys can see the plastic detail is back to create the cup and give our little Shopkin a face there. Inside it is filled with some white grape juice. It does not come out, but these little drips do move. And it even has a little green bendy straw there. This is Quinn grape juice and she is a rare find. So I'm very happy to have found her. And the second one in our little basket is some Rotel. So it's some diced tomatoes and green chilies. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the top off of our can. Carefully cut our blind bag open so we don't cut ourselves or anything inside. Since this one is a squishy Shopkin, that would be much easier to do than a regular Shopkin. And from the pantry, we have some Bryce Diced Tomato. He is a common figure. He is also squishy all the way through. If you've not seen these in person yet, they do feel like the grocery gangs that Moose also makes. So I like that the Shopkins can share that squishy texture. And we're just gonna go ahead and put him back into his little can. So here's the eight pack all by itself. If you've never opened one of their eight packs, we can see one of our mini packs, and then the other seven with their Shopkins will be inside this big tube. This can over here and this bottle of grape juice are just cardboard decoration. So we're gonna go ahead and cut open our pack and then see our blind bags. Here's the little Welch's grape juice bottle. 
course, our little Shopkin over here as well. Like the other bottles, this one opens from the bottom to store the Shopkins inside. At first glance, I thought that this Shopkin was a cup of grape juice, but it's actually a pitcher. So it has a handle in the back and a spout at the top. And the juice inside is squishy, although my hands are too big to really feel it. It also looks like there's some ice cubes there in the top. I hope you guys can see that on camera as well. And it does have a cute little winking face. This is Glen Grape Juice. And what surprises me most is that even though we could see this one in the pack, this is a rare find. I thought that all the ones you could see would be commons, but turns out I was wrong. So whenever we open up our pack and take out our giant Pringles can, there's a little tear strip over here on the side. You just push this part back, and then all the blind bags come out. They're all connected. So I'm going to cut all of these out of their plastic, and then we're going to see what we found. The first thing that I noticed is that we have a duplicate inside of our eight pack, which we've already opened in our two pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this one aside. And we're gonna open up this little box of Pop-Tarts instead. This says that it is the brown sugar cinnamon flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the little cardstock box and use our super tiny little snippers to help us open this up. Looks like we have another Pop-Tart in there, but this one is different than the strawberry one that we've seen. So it does have a hard plastic case and then this part is squishy. You guys can kind of see it comes out just a little bit whenever I crush the Pop-Tart. His name is JP Pop-Tart and he is a common find. Again, I just love all of the detail that goes into the front and backs of these little Shopkins and I cannot say enough good things about the double texture. Next up, we have a little pack of Nutrigrain bars. This is cherry flavored. I seem to get this box in every video that I do. I have two other videos on this series. So if you would like to see those other videos, I will link them at the end of this one. Here is Nellie Nutrigrain. She is a sweetie that has a squishy fruit filling, just like our Pop-Tart. She also has the oats and grains detail there on her front and the little folded marks there in the back. She has a little tongue sticking out as well and Nellie Nutrigrain is a common figure. Switching over from the little cardboard boxes to one of the hard plastic ones that I prefer. This is some Crunch and Munch buttery toffee. And I believe Crunch and Munch is like popcorn with almonds or peanuts or something in it. I know I've had it before and it's really yummy, but I can't remember what's in it right now. We're going to go ahead and cut this open, being careful not to cut our fingers or our Shopkin. And look at this little cutie. So it must have peanuts in it. I think that's what those are. And it's a little popcorn kernel. Her name is Crunchy Munch and she's a common find. She also has her little tongue sticking out. And in the back, she actually has the little golden marks that real popcorn kernels have. So they really put thought into both the fronts and backs of these Shopkins. And all of the ones from this series so far can stand up on their own so that you can display them in a little play grocery store as well. We got a lot of sweet treats in this box. This is some Rice Krispie Original. I've yet to see what's inside this container. So we're gonna go ahead and take our handy little snippers there and carefully cut through the recyclable baggie. I'm so happy that companies are making the little blind bags recyclable. And this one is so shiny. This particular Shopkin almost looks glazed, but it doesn't have any glitter on it. It's just really, really shiny. These are the Crispy Treat Twins, and they are a common figure. I love that they look pretty much identical there on the front. And I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not, but there is so much texture on this little tiny Shopkin. I'm having to hold my hand behind it so that you guys can see it because it wants to blend into the white of my background. But look at their cute little faces. <laughs> but they just look really sweet, no pun intended. We have two packs left for this video. This is going to be a special edition shoe. These are the Twinkle Toes by Skechers. So these open up like a real shoe box to let us take out our blind bag. And of course, store our shoes in once we're finished. And if I'm not mistaken, the Twinkle Toe shoes are covered in glitter. This will be the third little Twinkle Toes that I've opened. And just like with the other ones, there's a few bits of glitter on my finger, but the glitter is actually staying on the Shopkin really well. I love all the little details that go into this shoe. We of course have the glitter and then the little star detail there on the side. 
the pink around the top where your foot would go. And on the bottom, we actually have the star detail of the soles, just like a real Skechers shoe. And if you get more than one of these Shopkins and you have a little pair of them, you could actually put them in a little Barbie or another little doll shoe store. This is our last Shopkin to open for the day. There's not a huge name on it, so going by the front, it's just some Chef Boyardee mac and cheese. The logo is pretty small on this one, but just like the little microwavable cups, the lid pops off. To reveal our blind bag, and we are going to snip, snip, snip right across the top there. So this one's name is Matt and Cheese instead of Mac and Cheese. It is a rare find, and what I love about the ones on a spoon is that the spoon is hard plastic. It's a little bit bendy, but it's definitely hard. And then whatever they put in the spoon is nice and squishy and soft. So if we want to, we can just reach in there and scoop out a whole spoonful of macaroni and cheese. Here's a final look at the 15 unique containers that we found today and these 16 unique Shopkins that we found since our little pudding cups come in a little pack of two. We only ended up with one duplicate today and I'm really happy that this was the one that we found two of because this is my favorite packaging for the day. It's the only one I've seen that is actually shaped like the product inside and I think that that's really creative. For my favorite Shopkin, I'm sure you guys can probably guess, it's going to be the Little Kids Cuisine dinner tray down here. I just love all the colors and the detail, and it looks so cute sitting there. So while you're leaving me your favorites down in the comments below, don't forget to tell me if you would rather buy an 8-pack or 4 of the 2-packs. I think that they both have their pros and cons. Obviously, the bigger pack is cheaper per Shopkin, and you don't get any duplicates. But I think that we found some really cool ones in the 2-packs as well, and they come with the little play basket. And while you're down there typing, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps more people find my channel just like you did. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye for now!